Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Sweet Life Coaching Podcast. It's me, it's your girl, Tavia, and health coach, Tav, and I have an amazing guest this week. I am so excited to bring in another fabulous person into um, this realm, and today I am talking with Dr. John Harmon. Hello, Dr. Harmon. Hello. (laughs) Thank you for being here. Um, so Dr. Harmon is actually based down in Boise, Idaho, correct? Down in Boise? Right, right next door in Meridian. Meridian. Yeah. Suburb. Okay. I know exactly where Meridian is. Awesome. So Dr. Harmon, um, and I actually, we've never officially met face to face in person. This is like a a real treat for me. Um, I've been following him and his journey and his, um, doing the good as I, as I like to say, and sharing the good of these wonderful new technologies that's come out. And some of you may have heard me talk about it, and it's these new stem cell patches that have um, emerged. Actually, they've been around for quite a while, but they've emerged into my life this year. And I was following Dr. Harmon on some trainings, and I was just blown away by the technology, the science and whatnot. So I decided, why not reach out to Dr. Harmon? Let's have him tell you all about it. Let's have him tell you how he's implementing his practice and what's going on with that. So that's what we're doing today. So let me give you a little background on uh, Dr. Harmon. And also this is gonna be, for those of the listeners out there, you can go to YouTube and watch the video on this. There is gonna be a slide presentation. So just might be mindful of that. You can go and watch the full presentation on this. Uh, okay, so just a little bit about you and Dr. Harmon as he's sitting in front of me today. So he is a cor- chi- excuse me, chiropractic physician of 32 years. He is the founder and owner of Clear Mind Center of Idaho. He's board certified in QEEG, which we're going to get into that, the quantitative um, electrocephalograph. Did I say that right? Close. And neuro- okay, <laughs> almost close. Can you pronounce that for me correctly? Encephalogram. Encephalogram. Okay, just need yeah. to put it together. And neurofeedback. Um, <clears throat> he's the father of eight beautiful children. He's a grandfather of 24. And a little side note that um, a fun fact about him is he's a marbles <laughs> champion of his elementary school. I love it. I love it. Marbles are great. That's, I that's, love why, it. I, that's why I haven't lost my marbles yet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is great. So he's been a car, chiropractor, like I said, for 22, uh, 22 years in Boise um, to be. Um, and is a little background on this. So when his family had some severe trauma in March of 2010 and March of 2011, Um, His 18 year old niece committed suicide, unfortunately, and I'm sorry to hear that in 2010. And his oldest daughter's husband was murdered in March 2011. I'm so sorry for all your losses, first and foremost. Um, But you've had a lot of trauma and stuff happening in your family. So, and then you said your daughters had some depression, some anxiety, insomnia, and they were um, going down the medical route of prescription meds. And counseling, those weren't working. And so you decided to find things that could help your family and help your daughters. So this right. is where this led you to open up the Clear Mind Center, where you're helping people get their brains right, which we need that right now. So, oh my gosh, so so much information. So without further ado, we're gonna dive right in here, Dr. Harmon. And you're gonna tell me all the things of a little bit more of this background and how you came into the Clear Mind Center kind of switched from chiropractic, or do you still do chiropractic? I, I don't know. You could tell me. Um, do the you do both? Is that correct? The chiropractic and the mind. No, I don't, I don't do chiropractic anymore. Okay, it's all, that's what I thought. It's all you know, brain well, stuff. Okay, awesome. So I'll let you take the floor. Thank you again okay. for being here. And yeah. without further ado, thank you. Tell us more. Oh my gosh, I just want to learn so much. <laughs> well, thank you. First of all, thank you for the kind introduction. Yeah, uh, of course. The uh, there is a little bit of a backstory, and and some people wonder what's a chiropractor doing all this brain stuff for. And sure. I, I think once you once you understand where somebody's been, you can mm-hmm. understand why they do what they do, where their passions lie. So I do have a few slides. Okay. That great. I will uh, that I'll share. It's gonna be great. And I put this one on first. Um, there we go. Because a lot of, well, all of what I'm talking about um, has to do with frequency. And whether it's we're doing frequencies on the brain or the LifeWave X39 is frequency medicine, uh, so to speak. So it's, it's always good to start out and make sure everybody understands our body is just 
frequencies and energy. It yeah. looks like a solid substance and it feels solid, but everything in it is just energy. So that might help people understand what I'm about to talk about. And if you can see the waves going through this, this person, mm -hmm. this representative of a human frame here, <clears throat> they're not just frequencies that go through us, but our actual, our bodies actually produce frequencies that I'll be talking about in a little bit. I wanted to give my contact information. Uh, she mentioned that, that um, founder and owner of ClearMind Center of Idaho. And then I'll just leave this up for a minute. If right. you have any questions about what I'm talking about and want to talk directly to me, that's my email, dr.jharman at gmail.com. So at ClearMind, um, we have, I've always sought to help people, whether it was when I was doing chiropractic, uh, which I don't do anymore, or whatever it was nutritionally, uh, I used to do IV therapy and ultraviolet blood irradiation, certified in oxidative medicine. I did all that stuff. I've sought to help people just live out their fullest expression of life, whatever it is, from where they are, whatever their, their situation is. They might be in a wheelchair. It's different than other people who can walk about. But whatever it is, I've tried to focus on that. When these things happened um, that I'm, I'm gonna explain in a minute, it changed my focus and just a little background, a little bit of background on what we do here at ClearMind Center. We do microcurrent neurofeedback. That's what the MC stands for. Okay. Uh, microcurrent is frequency and it's, it's pulses of delta, normal delta waves that are sent into your brainstem that I'll explain as well. We also do genetic testing for variants that people might have that would prevent their body or their biochemical processes from responding normally, like, like to things like food or vitamins or, or, you know, they have poor cholesterol regulation or they can't seem to maintain proper weight in spite of how little they eat or or there are a lot of them there are 18 of them we check for those mm -hmm. and we also do like she mentioned i just put stem cell dash patch there wasn't enough room to put activating patch they actually don't have stem cells in them right. so please don't misunderstand me on that to your to your right. audience stem cell activation patch so it's a patch that actually elevates your our own stem cells in our body so microcurrent just a little bit of background our brain stem runs on delta waves that's what's emitted from the brain stem when those cells are firing delta waves are our slowest form of brain waves they are between one and four hertz in other words one one time per second is what's firing up a brain cell or up to four. Um, the lower range of that is what fires up the sympathetic nervous system. That's part of our autonomic system. That's the thing that runs the show. It runs everything that just happens that you don't have to think about. But there, there are two portions to that uh, autonomic. One is the fight or flight. Look at that as the gas of the system. When you get in a car, it's good to have an accelerator. Yeah. But it's even better once you get going to have the brakes. Sure. And in general, the sympathetic system is the gas of the system. The parasympathetic is, is for resting, digesting, feel good, sleep, um, those types of things where we're slowing things down, except in the gut, it speeds things up in the gut. So, mm. so it's not 100%, it slows other things down, but speeds up digestion. So people who don't have a healthy parasympathetic nervous system will have poor digestion, they'll have slow digestion. I've even heard patients say, I wake up in the morning, if I belch, I can taste the food I had the night before. Mm. That's, uh, that's not a good thing because then your food is rotting instead of being digested. So, um, so the microcurrent 
these people who are really sick, they've been sick for a long time. They've not responded well to treatments. Um, they don't digest well, they don't sleep, they're always anxious, they have depression, they have all kinds of different things. Their delta waves are running too slow. Microcurrent, we send in pulses of normal delta waves and then all of a sudden they start doing both rather than just the slow. Mm. Now you have also the fast ones that run the parasympathetic. So then exactly. things like anxiety and, you know, yeah. other health issues go away. Wow. Question? No, no, this is making sense. I'm, I'm learning so much already. I, I know a lot about the parasympathetic system. Of course um, you do as you, you know, in your work. Right, right, right. But this is, and I know about neurofeedback too, but this mm -hmm. is really how you're tying it in together. This is eye-opening for me a little bit and it makes sense. It does. And I, so yeah, continue on. Yeah. Well, great. we yeah. used to do, when I first started in yeah. 2015, yeah. Um, we used to do operant conditioning neurofeedback and what that is, that's training the brain. Oh, so right. we do, we do the brain map, the EEG, mm -hmm. and then we see what's too high on the left. What's too low. As far as power, your different brain waves, your beta is too high on the left and your delta, whatever we have to get protocols. And then the system trains the brain. It rewards the brain for doing the right thing and then deprives it of a reward for doing the wrong thing. And it has a 50 year here, uh, excuse me, 50 year history of success. This system, the microcurrent untrains the brainstem from the faulty pattern that it is. And then it just starts back up firing normally. It's kind of like, you remember the first time you called an IT guy and your software wasn't working and he yeah. said, well, why don't we just, why don't we just turn your computer off and turn it back on? Right. And I say, I'm never calling you for that again. <laughs> Let's do that myself. <laughs> so the system doesn't shut it down, but what it does, it sends in these normal, these pulses of normal Delta waves. And then those brain cells start to resonate with that. And then they start firing. And then you get a clearing of the glymphatic system of all the toxins that have been built up in there for years when it was stuck in what we call sympathetic freeze, yeah. meaning I can only fire up the sympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. And I'm always ramped up yeah. and my mind won't shut off at night. And I'm trying to get all kinds of things will happen. But the, the bottom line is that is the auto neuroregulatory center of the brain that we're resetting makes sense yeah okay so here that's the bottom line the brain can be fine-tuned now the system yeah. we use is called iasis that's uh egyptian for health okay um that's the name so if anybody looks it up in their city that they live in you would look up iasis microcurrent neurofeedback okay. and that will take you to the corporate site and so I A S I S for those Correct. that are listening. I A S I S. Yes. Yeah. So, what the heck am I doing? Brain stuff. You mentioned some of it, but that's the way. That's our website right there, clearmindidaho.com. Got it. Um, you mentioned we had a little bit of family trauma, and it's when yeah. I was uh, actually when I was younger. I didn't mention this at all, but this is my. This was my sister. She was two years older than I never showed any signs of mental illness growing up. She was homecoming queen. She married the Florida State Beautiful. basketball star. She, she had three babies in three years and all the doctors could ever tell us was something flipped in her brain. Uh, we don't know what. Um, and she was never saying the uh, parent schizophrenic, <gasps> lived in and out of a mental institution, lived in a group home. That was starting in 1978, so I was 24. Okay. And she was the oldest in our family. I was devastating. She was she was alive, but she was gone. She yeah. the Beverly that we knew was gone. She didn't pass away until 2012, basically as a stranger that we didn't know. We didn't know who she was. This was yeah. the last picture I have of her. Oh wow. And I mean, it's just it was yeah. so devastating. This is what made me want to flip brains back mm -hmm. but then this is the picture of her that was a picture of her whoa yeah. she doesn't even look the same person no she doesn't and for and, the listeners out there she the, we're looking at like a blonde beautiful i'd yeah. say blonde bombshell beautiful young woman to a woman i wouldn't even recognize so this is how yeah. we this yeah. is how we knew her yeah. and then when she um 
she'd been sick for a long time when this happened or mm -hmm. when she finally came to a little family function but uh -huh. but that was her it was Bless just her heart. you know it was Jeez. yeah it was devastating oh. so that's kind of started me my curiosity man if 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 there was a way i i would flip her brain back yeah. Then I, I was a chiropractor for 22 years at this time mm -hmm. in March 2010, and my 18-year-old niece committed suicide, and then my oldest daughter's husband was murdered in March of 2011, almost to the day, and it was really public. Uh, he was an attorney. Uh, he was he was having it was on Dateline twice. This is one of the episodes. I think um, I just remember this. Yeah. He was an attorney and he was having an affair with his paralegal. And then down here, you can see her in the bottom right. And this is her husband. So he killed him in the Walgreens parking lot there in Meridian on Linder. And um, I remember oh. this. Yes. Yeah. This was just on Dateline. It wasn't too long ago. Oh, they've been, they've shown it a couple more times. Yeah. People come to the office. Hey, I saw your daughter on Dateline. You're like, go, you're like, really? It was on again. You're like, great. <laughs> so then it was a, uh, then there was, this was the second episode. So it was very public. But the reason I tell you about this stuff yeah. is um, this is part of it right here. Your grandbabies. So th this is my youngest daughter. Oh, that's your daughter. Okay. These are my identical twin granddaughters. Oh, okay. So she's only two years older. Oh, gotcha. She and my other daughter, see if I have a picture. No, I'm going to go back. I forgot there's another picture, but I had a picture of this daughter and then the daughter who's four years older than she was. But those two had anxiety, depression, and insomnia because Beverly, my sister, died the next year. And they just said, Daddy, everybody's going away. So th oh. they were really traumatized. And I said, after three or four years of prescription drugs and, and uh, counseling wasn't working, yeah. they weren't working. I said, I'm, it's time. I'm going to find things to help flip brains. Oh, and man. so that's what I've been. There's a, there's a happy ending. These are the granddaughters right here. They were Anna and Elsa oh, in, yeah. in a beautiful. musical. And they were just, they're just really beautiful girls. They've, you have a beautiful family. Did the listeners out there, you got to check out this YouTube because this family is just <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So that, that's why I do what I do. That, that uh, drives me to keep yeah. going and keep, keep doing that and I get to see the changes that happen in families so they don't have to suffer with that so it's Absolutely. really rewarding to me yeah so let's talk about uh, one of the things we do and that is the um the stem cell activation patches I wanted to talk yeah. about that first yeah and so I made this cool slide <laughs> So yeah, and this is cool. <laughs> to, to introduce us to the X39. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of the patch because it's photobiomodulation uh, in the patch. Yeah. And I want to talk about how, how to give you a comparison about how these work. Okay. Everybody pretty much in the general knowledge, the collective knowledge in the general public is you know, we go out in the sun and somehow vitamin D is made. Right. Well, there, there's a reason for that. And we get the sunlight, we get the UV light coming in. UV light reacts with the 70 hydrocholesterol. This gives the precursor to vitamin D and we end up with vitamin D from uh, sunlight. So just keep this principle in mind certain frequencies when they enter our skin can do different things. Think okay. about pigment. We go out in the sun, if we're out there long enough, our body gets the signal, you know what, I got to protect myself. I better put some more pigment out there and we yeah. get a tan. Um, okay. There are all kinds of things. Right. Well, uh, here's another, another view of that. And then we get vitamin D3. Well, there's a really smart man named David Schmidt, who's on the mm -hmm. level of Nikola Tesla. Mm -hmm. What he did is evaluate the human body and figured out which photons of energy or light our bodies are emitting, just sitting right now. Everybody watching this, your body is making photons, you don't see them, but uh, part of that spectrum is UV, or, excuse me, infrared, far infrared, near infrared, 
And if you look at this, the light spectrum, that's a pretty big portion of the full light spectrum. So there are wow. different frequencies of infrared. And then he figured out this, which portions of those frequencies could I reflect back into the body to turn on different pathways? Mm. So he has an entire selection of products prior to this X39. I'm not going to go into these, yeah. but briefly, there's one for pain, there's one for inflammation, sleep, um, in, one for increase in melatonin, one increases glutathione, one enhances energy. It causes your body to burn three to 600 calories more per day for energy, so fat burning. Then there's, there's an appetite suppressant. So there's all these patches, but what happened with all of them, he figured out how to elevate with the patch by, by selectively reflecting back a, a, a frequency, how to turn on your body's natural ability to make certain peptides that are signaling molecules. That's what each one of those patches does. With the X39, it's the first one that was designed to elevate a peptide that signals our body to start making more stem cells. Not only that, but it converts or reverses the age of our old stem cells to a younger state. And when he first discovered it, the, the man who discovered them uh, that I'll tell you about, they put old liver cells in a Petri dish and exposed it to the peptide that gets elevated by this patch. Mm. And the, the liver cells reversed their age and started making proteins and enzymes like younger, like younger liver wow. cells. Wow. So this is how it all started. And he said, well, there must be something to this. Let's yeah. figure it out. And that's what he did. Um, so the X39 actually elevates this peptide. And you can see right here where it says CU. This mm -hmm. is where it incorporates copper into this, you know, more complex structure. It's not really that complex because it's only three amino acids with a copper molecule or atom incorporated into it. And this enzyme works like a switch to turn on or off different pathways in your body. Only one of them is to increase our stem cells. And I'm mm -hmm. gonna talk about some of the other, other benefits of this. Yeah. So the enzyme that it elevates in our body is called the GHK copper. That's what the CU stands for. See you, right. GHK copper peptide. And this patch, and it's not much bigger than the way it looks on my screen, it's, uh, it's like a round band-aid, but you see the outer yeah. circle and then you see the inner circle. Yeah. This inner circle is, they figured out how to combine different organic materials like organic amino acids and salts and different things inside of that patch. And here's the really astounding thing. They figured out who, how to, with each one of the patches, combine these different substances so they form a new type of crystal structure. Each one of these has a, a separate and distinct crystal lattice structure designed to reflect a different frequency back into our body that turns on a different pathway. This is mm. what the patches are all about. This one signals our body to make more GHK copper peptide that decline, dec declines by at least 80% by the time you're my age. Mm -hmm. And then we, don't, we just don't have it anymore. Yeah. Um, so now... Wait, can you, can you touch on... Sorry to interrupt you real quick. So yeah. say that again with the copper peptide, because uh, uh, you said it declines by age. So I remember hearing something you saying about like by age 35, it's like half our stem cells decrease in production. And then by age 65, it's like nearly nothing. Can you touch on that for a second? Yeah, by the age of 65, they've gone down. This has declined by about 60%. It's, 60%, okay. it's just remember 60, 60 approximately. Okay. Um, by the age of 60, GHK has declined about 60%. Um, okay. Our stem cells start to decrease. I believe it is at about 30, at age 35. We don't have as many. Mm -hmm. And then they, they age as well. And then we have old stem cells. 
the GHK carpet peptide, interesting thing about what it does with stem cells, it actually, just like those liver cells, it turns them to a younger state. Wow. And it actually stimulates our body to make more what are called pluripotent stem cells, P-L-U-R-I, you can look that up. Pluripotent, Plur okay. pluripotent stem cells that can then become omnipotent stem cells and they can become any cell in your wow. body that needs to be repaired. If, you, if you're lacking some you know, bone cells, they can become bone cells. If you're lacking some brain cells, they can become brain cells. And there was a brain study done, and this is one of the reasons these are included in our, included in our protocols here at Claremont Center because of the brain study that I saw where the, the brain coherence, which is, if, if you look at coherence, is a, it's a map of brain activity side to side, front to back, and you don't want to have too much asymmetrically, too much on one side or the other or front to back. You want to have pretty pretty even and full activity. You don't have it all segmented or really like overpowered on the left and not very much on the right. So using this patch um, helps with brain coherence wow. and memory. Wow. Memory, was, memory was a biggie, which checks one of the boxes for me because so my goals in life, some of them, some of them are, I want to remember who I am when I'm mm. old, 80, mm. 90. I don't want to be meeting a new person in my house who happens to be my spouse every 15 minutes. Who are you? Yeah. I don't want that. I want to be able to travel to visit other people and not have to be at home in a bed, having them come and visit me. Right. So this, this patch checks that brain box for me, but it also checks the cardiovascular box that I'll talk about yeah. as well. Ooh, I love it. So GHK copper peptide, the company, got the patent for this technology because they proved through blood test, double blind blood test, that wearing this patch elevates the GHK copper peptide. So in order to know how important that is, um, I want you to write this down. This is the man's website who sure. discovered this. This is Lauren, Dr. Lauren Picard, L-O-R-E-N. His website implies what the GHK copper peptide does. It's called reverse aging with GHK.com. On that website, you will find six different categories. Only one of them has to do with stem cells. The others have to do with some of the things I'm just going to talk to you about right now. So the GHK copper peptide discovered 1973 by Dr. Lauren Picard, it converted those older liver cells to a younger state, like I talked about, it causes or creates in your body a situation where you have rapid wound healing. And over on the right, you see collagen repair and collagen destruction. And you ask yourself, why would somebody want to destroy collagen? Yeah. Scar tissue. Right. Scar tissue. When, when uh, collagen is formed, it's, it forms like the cells line up and then it's flexible. Scar tissue, they're lined in a haphazard way and it's not flexible. So this GHK can break the linkages, the cross linkages so that scars become more like normal cells. And I've even seen them go from really being dimpled down like a big cavern where the scar is to over a period of months, flatter, more like normal skin. Um, this is a biggie right here as well because the GHK copper peptide is what your body uses to repair 4,200 of our genes that get oxidized. This is why, in my opinion, some people who put, the, put this patch on see dramatic things happen in just three or four days. Mm -hmm. Some people even in one day, and this is what, this is my personal, <laughs> these are my personal thoughts. If a gene has become oxidized and it can't work, and it gets immediately repaired by the GHK copper peptide and now it turns back on. Mm -hmm. Now you have something that's instant. You have something that now starts to work, which wasn't working before. So it's kind of like tuning a piano. You know, yeah. the genes need a little maintenance. You get exposed to EMFs or bad food. I call uh, things that you buy in a box in a bag at the grocery store that they call food. Yeah, It's not really food, it has calories but those are electron stealers. They're not mm -hmm. electron donors like 
like real food, fresh food from the earth, right. those things out of a box in a bag will cause oxidation and it can be to our genes. And so this repairs those, the GHK repairs it. A couple more things here, <clears throat> rat researchers have uh, done a lot of evaluation and where they, where they think how we as humans develop this GHK copper peptide. And anciently, you know, we didn't, we didn't have housing and we didn't have medicines and we yeah. had to adapt really quickly to changes in weather. All of a sudden it's summer and then this huge storm comes in and now you got, now you have snow or, mm -hmm. you know, fighting off infections, um, acts of war, you're in a war and you get wounded. You have with the GHK, you have rapidly accelerated wound healing and it increases blood vessel formation. And so this is one of the reasons people are having such great success with neuropathy, mm -hmm. um, diabetic neuropathy and others. So you have a situation where you don't have good circulation, the nerve endings will, will die because of poor maintenance. Um, you don't get nutrition down to them. So you increase the microcirculation with the GHK. Now you can get nutrients to the damaged nerves and then those things start to heal. Right, makes sense. You know, other things of starvation, you know, you're in a famine or something, um, we humans anciently, and the GHK increases the healing of many tissues, skin, stomach, intestine lining, and bone tissue rapidly. Wow. So this is kind of a, a summary right here. Yeah. Uh, you get rapid pain relief, you get reduced inflammation, supports wound healing. A lot of people notice right off uh, increased energy and just, you know, vitality, mental clarity, enhances sport performance. And the way it does that is it accelerates processing of lactic acid. Mm. So people will start using these and they go on well, leg day, man, my legs would kill me. They'd get so sore. And they say, no, my legs don't even get sore. I can work out fully and then I don't get sore legs. So faster recovery from exercise as well. And then on Dr. Picard's website, you're going to see a category of skin, hair, and um, nails. So <laughs> it, you get smoothing of skin and decreasing wrinkle depth as well as uh, regrowing hair. I am one of the lucky ones. I'm 67 next week and I still have my hair. You and have a great head of hair. <laughs> thank you. You know what? It's turning brown again on top. I still have some holdouts along here. But it's turned brown. Okay, so I have to interrupt you. So I have been on these patches, oh gosh, four months now, something like that, five months. I have psoriasis. My psoriasis oh. on my elbow, gone. I just noticed the other day, I was like, uh, it, my uh, elbow is all smooth. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. That's and, fantastic. Uh-huh. I And I... I didn't really pay attention to it till the other day. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not having any psoriasis. So. And that's pretty typical when things go away. It's hard. Yeah. To, you know, when you don't have something, it's, yeah. you don't think about it all the time. And then somebody reminds yeah. you, or you look in the mirror and you go, oh my gosh, that's right. I used to have that. Yeah. And now I <laughs> yeah. don't have that. And then another, um, I have to share this too. This just happened right before we got on the call. I had sent some patches to a friend. Um, and uh, he is a skier, snow skier. And he had been having some knee problems. I didn't know he had knee problems, but he just sent me a text message. And he said, wow, Tavia, he said, I put the E on patch, which is another patch we can talk about later date, but it's a, it works for inflammation and mm -hmm. it can work in conjunction with X39 for the listeners out there. But anyways, I gave him one of those uh, E on patches. And he said, within 20 minutes, my pain was completely gone and I can move my knee again. Yeah, it's crazy. I that know. Eon patch. We will have to talk about that another time, but we should. Yeah. Um, it actually, the signal from that, the frequency that gets reflected back into your body from that one, yeah, signals your liver to make more of a natural substance um, called phenylacetylglutamine. Yes. Which turns on a bunch of anti-inflammatory pathways. It's, oh, it's that's remarkable. so cool. Oh, I want to know so much more about that Eon patch. Yeah, that's honestly, that's one of my favorites. I do, I, and I do X39 Eon or like just uh, my life. <laughs> well, you know, the Eon ex uh, it accentuates the, the effect or supports the X39 because right, 
Right. Stem cells are attracted to inflammation. Mm -hmm. If the inflammation is too great, then the stem cells die. So yeah. it will actually enhance the effect of the X39. Awesome. All right. Here's a couple of uh, examples. I'm actually friends with this gal on Facebook now. This is really how she looked before. Wow. <laughs> you can see up there, her hair is really stringy. <laughs> and it's, it's almost like this is all Photoshop, but it's not. I've actually seen it's video real. of her. Somebody from, I think, China, I'm not sure what language that is, put this, like this Chinese, a, yeah. a Facebook post, somebody in LifeWave, yeah. I'm assuming those are so, days, 42 days, 355, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it there. Yeah. Okay. This is really a remarkable little thing. This was Whoa. a this was a six year old. Whoa. I have the description on the next cell. So he got the fingertip totally cut off. The surgeon almost refused the dad. He said, "We just need to put a skin flap over it because that fingertip will die, oh. and then you'll have to have another surgery." And the dad insisted because he had stem cell activation patches. He put that right there, right down near that, that fingertip. And this is the story. So it was a six-year-old whose uh, finger was slammed in a door and the tip was mm. severed. Mm. The doctor said the only way forward was the, the skin graft. The surgeon kind of reluctantly did it. The tip did look as though it had died. And that's what the blackness is right here. Oops, okay. Go back. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. why th this, okay. this is necrotic tissue. Right black this is the fingertip afterwards wow um, this is in remarkable two, two months you guys uh, you guys got to yeah. check this video out yeah when we yeah. talk about when you talk about increasing the microcirculation and the the vessel yeah. uh, production and repair that's everything so then you can get oxygen to it you can get nutrients and then it just has a chance of healing and, and then the stem cells just you know fix stuff so that was remarkable um that is really yeah cool. that this uh, is kind of a compilation of some of those and more this is a, a guy's hair before and after this is a gal's hair before and after and full head of hair it's Goodness. full head of hair and, and darker and i see that i've seen that a lot over the last 16 months that i've been using this one down in the corner was really meaningful to me because mm -hmm. i read mris and I've oh. done so for a long time, but you can see this bulging disc right here. Oh, yes. And then you don't see it right here. Oh my gosh, I need a bigger picture of that one. Oh, you'll have to yeah. send that to me. That's remarkable. Wow. Does that help? Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of that. <laughs> there we go. I, I can send you uh, the actual picture. Yeah, send that to me too. Wow, sure. and, look at, and look at the space, and that's the brainstem going down, right? Isn't that? Uh, well, this part, is. Or where am I? This looking? is. This is. Am I looking lateral? C one area. C one area here. This is lateral cervical spine. This is C two. Gotcha. C three, okay. four, five, six. and here's the numbers right here too. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I see that. Okay, gotcha. T one. T one is clear down here. So this was a, a C seven. Wow. Yep. Clearly. One area right here, and you can see this pushing into the spinal cord actually, and then yeah. a, a bulge here, a little bulge here. So big one. Uh, smaller smaller but then you see oh, just dang. this and what's really interesting is that um dr lauren picard picard i'm um, gonna have to yeah you can see uh, the brain stem is like clearer or you know more not so bumpy either it looks like dr picard actually just go on um uh pubmed yeah. And you can find studies where they did, where they actually injected the GHK copper peptide just underneath the skin near a spinal segment and it caused the disc to heal. Oh my gosh. Insane. Wow. Now, the other thing I talked about is um, the genetics, the Genetic. gene test. Yeah. Trying, whoops. I have that uh, same report. <laughs> well, not the same as yours, but. I know what that one is. Yes. So, so this important. is um, this is a test. There are 18 SNPs that are called actionable. Mm -hmm. This sounds for single nucleotide polymorphism. Whoops, lost my yep. lost major piece here. Uh, single nucleotide polymorphism, mm -hmm. and that just means an um, you know it's an aberrant gene or a, they're they're not functioning normally. 
Right. And you look here at healthy lipid support, mitochondrial function. I happen to get from both parents uh, for oxidative stress from both parents, the MTF HFR. Yeah. I um, too. This glutathione transferase, this is where mm. it can be life threatening. Does that uh, mean you're not producing glutathione or you're not processing? Well, gl glutathione has to be recharged. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's an electron donor. Okay. The antioxidant. So something becomes oxidized, it loses an electron. It's glutathione okay. that puts it back. Then it has to go back and get recharged and come back. And if, if it's getting overwhelmed, it, that system is really great because glutathione also recharges vitamin E and vitamin C because they're mm. antioxidants too. Mm -hmm. So they donate an electron, glutathione puts it back. So a real conundrum, a real uh, um, puzzle in my life, why did a seemingly healthy guy get blood poisoning twice and oh. a bone infection oh. once? And I think this is why, because the, the yeah. bacteria got in my bloodstream and I couldn't fight, I didn't, Glutathione is your master immune switch. Yeah, um, it's a big deal. And so I, I did, I got, uh, it's one of the reasons that I don't do chiropractic anymore because I got a uh, bone infection in my wrist oh, from no a root way. canal. I had a root canal, I was under conscious sedation and the dentist did a root canal without my permission. And uh, what? I woke up, he said that tooth was so bad I had to do a root canal and he just as well told me we had to cut your right foot off. I felt so violated and betrayed. That's awful. Um, then a week <laughs> later, my wrist puffed up like a football. Yeah. And um, had to go somewhere. Basically, yeah. it, my body was really smart. It walled it off. So yeah. it was only contained in my wrist. That wrist was already a arthritic from adjusting so much for all those years. Sure. And so it says, hey, it's, it's already compromised here. So it walled it off. And uh, I didn't have any markers of infection or inflammation in my blood at first. Yeah. So anyway, that's, yeah. uh, that's one of the reasons these things are so important to find out. Yeah. Um, so then we, we, we do that. And then there one supplement will be uh, formulated according to a person's genes. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody has a detox problem and then the microcurrent neurofeedback causes their brain to go through a big detox, now it's out into the body and they have to be able to process that. So it's important for us to know that in advance. Yeah. Well, those are all my slides. Yeah. If you have any questions, I'd like to, you know, open yeah. to, uh, no. answer anything that you have. Yeah. I just had a couple of questions. Well, I probably have a gazillion questions, but, <laughs> but the, the ones that, you know, that really come to mind, um, first of all, thank you. That was amazing. And, for those of the listeners out there who aren't watching this, please go to YouTube and watch this. I will post it also on my website and I'll share the link for your um, office as well. Dr. Harmon, if you'd like to use it anyway, um, oh, shape you. or form. Yeah. That'd yeah. So we'll, we'll make sure we you get you the link as well. And I want to also point out, I will put some of those links that we talked about um, uh, below too. So they can go to oh, those. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, but one of the questions that I wanted to um, ask you was the implementation of the X39 itself and how has that changed? Like, and you implement that obviously in the Clear Mind Institute, right? The our mm -hmm. center. Um, yeah. How's that changed your practice? How's that? What have you seen with some of your patients? It's really huge because it yeah. it uh, helps with the very thing that we're fixing, the brain. Yeah. Uh, that six week study showed much better brain coherence and memory. Mm. So we're kind of getting it from two different sides, meaning we're we're doing the microcurrent neurofeedback. We also do cold laser here, um, okay. which helps with the brain. Cold laser and then amazing. we actually have them start using the X39 to get all kinds of different benefits. You know, like in the slides there, it's not just for brain, but they'll report that some pain went away or they, they're sleeping better or they, all kinds of benefits, including the brain. Yeah. So me personally, um, I feel at least 10 years younger than I did a year ago. Wow. Um, and you started a year ago? I started actually more than a year ago. Okay. It was, uh, okay. right about when the pandemic, the shutdown happened. Yeah. So 
I think my first day yeah. using the patches was the first week of April sometime because oh. I ordered some yeah. and then they arrived sometime during that week. Yeah. And uh, that's when we started, my wife mm -hmm. and I started using them. I noticed a little bit of difference right off. Mm -hmm. um, we were going on lots of walks because my practice was closed for two yeah. and a half months. Yeah. And she was working from home. She worked for Micron. And she just says, you know, I just feel like, like a little lighter and I feel like better mood. We're, we're both upbeat people anyway. Yeah. But, um, my big shift came at two and a half months. Okay. Remember the slide that said it repairs gut tissue? Yeah. Yeah. That's been a, a one of my genetic snips that you saw in there predisposes me for gut it gut and sinus problems. Same. <laughs> uh, so gut was something that yeah. I fought my whole life. At, at one point in my life, I could only eat chicken, steamed vegetables, and rye crackers because I was allergic to everything else because of leaky gut. Yep. Um, yeah. So that was a big shift. And then at four and a half months, I had a big shift in my heart health. Mm. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. We need the ticker. <laughs> the, the study that was done for the heart, for cardiovascular, there was actually a study that was done on organ function. So multiple systems in the body were tested, but the results of the cardiovascular for just meant a lot to me. And what they found after wearing the patch for six weeks, the heart, the cardiovascular system, according to their measurements, acted two months younger. What? So six weeks on the patch, Whoa. two months younger. If you do the math for every day you wear the patch, your heart gets a day and a third younger. Okay. Sign me up. That's all good. <laughs> you check right? the, you check the yeah. brain box, you check yeah. the cardiovascular yeah. box. Those two things alone, uh, all stem cells aside, it's just, those are huge deals. Yeah. So mine with my heart, Wow. I had heart palpitations my whole life. I went to the doctor multiple times. Oh, you got these PVCs. They're mm -hmm. just, you know, we can't do anything about them. Yep. You don't, you don't need medicine, but it's just irritating. Yep. I was a distance runner. My heart worked like a charm when I was running, but when I was at rest, when it slowed down, all of it, you know, it would randomly just kind of skip a beat. Yeah. Yep. And not anything to cause your, your oxygen saturation to go down very much or anything like that. So right. it didn't really do anything about it. And yep. what was weird is that since I had those my whole life, I put one like right there okay. <laughs> where I felt those. Mm -hmm. And I had them on there for like four and a half months. And I had a, a knee replacement surgery coming up. I was a wild skier and I beat the heck and I was a distance runner. And so it needed to be <laughs> replaced. So I had one coming up and, but all of a sudden these PVCs got every fifth beat, every fifth beat, just no matter what, whereas before they were just random, Yeah. but they were happening so much that I would wake up at night and I'd be gasping for air. Whoa. And I'm thinking, man, I got to go get my heart checked. I got this surgery coming up. What if something's going on with my heart? Yeah. Went to the cardio the cardiologist, got me scheduled for an echocardiogram. Cardiogram, and um, he comes in the room after and he, he says, wow, your, your heart did remarkably well. We tell people if they can make it 10 minutes on, uh, 10 minutes on this thing, you have zero chance of having a cardiovascular event. He said, you made it 12. Whoa. Your heart, <laughs> your heart. You're like, was, okay. And, and by the, you know, it was pretty steep by then. And he said, you just have these PVCs in this uh, right bundle branch block. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what causes that? And he says, well, we get these apoptotic cells and we can't replace them fast enough. The light went on. I talk about apoptosis in my yeah. trainings and that's yes. programmed cellular death. Yes. Your, your body does it to everything in your, I oh. keep pulling my earplug out. I oh, need no, something like yours, my ear, my earbuds. Um, your body kills off 70, 50 to 70 billion cells a day, including yeah. in the heart. Well, it, it's beating and it couldn't replace them. And it, this is my thoughts. It started replacing them. They just weren't good at it yet. So they're going, okay, every fifth beat, we skip, we skip, we skip. And then a week later, it all stopped. Wow. Amazing. It was, it was crazy. 
Yeah. So and that, oh. I tell people, you're starting a long-term relationship with stem cells. Don't, don't start with short-term miracle expectations. Yeah. Right. Sometimes yeah. it happens, but the deep, deep mm -hmm. healing mm -hmm. with stem cells comes over time. Oh, yeah. So, I, oh, wow, that's a miracle. I have PVCs as well. I, I, and yeah. Mine, yeah, so I totally know what you're talking about. Um, but mine started because of Lyme disease. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm good now. I'm good. But I did yeah. all that for a while. My my heartbeat would go down to like 30 beats per minute. And I'm just like, Rrr, and then I get, da, 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 da. oh, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, and that started when I was 39. Yeah. So, so that was, I was young. chemical exposure from the, the lime poop. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. It was those dang lime bugs that I caught. It's not the pathogen. It's what they poop. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They yeah. It, it's the yuck. Yeah. All that toxic die off. But anyways, yeah. okay. One, we've got to wrap this up here. I know, but um, okay. another thing, um, God, I could talk to you forever about this. this is awesome. Um, so, oh, so going back, so was that that you said you're pointing to the listeners out there? He was pointing to his sternum where you're putting a patch, and that. Well, was I put it. I put that one right over my heart. Oh, over there. And that was the X39 yeah. you did over X39. there? X39. Okay. 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 So, okay. Gotcha. So a couple little um, housekeeping things, those, uh, quick questions is like, are these safe for kids? The, the company, well, let me rewind. Nobody does research on children. Yeah. Nobody does research on pregnant or nursing women. Right. So the company just says they're not intended mm -hmm. for use in kids or yeah. pregnant or nursing women, but we okay. have lots of, um, testimonials of people like that kid who got his finger cut off and yeah. terrible burns and, and different things. So, you know, if it was my kid, I would use it, but each person yeah. has to make their own individual decision about yeah. that. It, it's just that nobody does research on those. Right. So there's no data. And they are FDA approved, right? Um, is that correct? Uh, change, change the wording on that. Change FDA the wording. Okay. Cleared. Cleared. Yeah. Okay. FDA, cleared. The FDA doesn't mm -hmm. approve anything. They clear it. Clear it. So right. The company gotcha. says these are therapy devices. They say, yeah. okay, they're cleared for therapy devices. So they are cleared as therapy devices. We can't say they cure or treat anything because sure. they're not cleared for treating any disease. They're just, they're just cleared for as therapy right. devices, supporting the system. Gotcha. Elevating your glutathione on the glutathione patch, elevating your stem cells with the stem cell activation patch, et cetera. Gotcha. Yeah. And there's and one thing I wanted to point out too. There are so many, you, you saw a picture there. Well, the people that are watching, there was a picture there of so many different patches and there are other patches other than the X39 that do right. other things. One of my other favorites is the glutathione. Um, as a practitioner, oh my goodness, we, yeah, everybody needs that huge. glutathione. Oh, it's a big deal, that glutathione patch. I, I use it a lot um, on a lot of my, my patients as well. That's a whole nother topic as well. <laughs> we could talk well, about it that. is. Yeah. <laughs> glutathione. That glutathione patch, a supplement will, can raise your glutathione level up to 10%. The glutathione patch raises it 300% within yeah. 24 hours. I know. That's insane to me. It's like, crazy. I know it's crazy. And I want to point out too, it's not that you're actually getting glutathione. No. Right. These are not transdermal people. These are like, it's not putting glutathione in your body. A lot. I had one gal said, well, I can't do sulfur. One of my patients said she can't do sulfur because of glutathione. And I don't, I guess some glutathione, the sulfur Yeah, connection. there are people who, yeah. So I probably said, have that gen, one of those genetic snips. Yeah. 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 So anyways, but, I, but she did the glutathione patch is fine. So, yeah. Yeah. Because you're not giving your body any sulfur. No. It's taking that from your diet and yeah. making glutathione. Right. Right, right, right. So anyways, but yeah, so, so many different things out there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has been an amazing talk. I might have to have you on again. We'll have to talk about another patch <laughs> if you're open yeah, to let's it. let's do it. Heck yeah, I would love to talk about something, you know, like the Eon or a couple other of our other amazing patches. I can out geek there. out on this all day. <laughs> I know, right? Me too. And then, and then, oh gosh, yeah, there's so many. I just want to share the love, as I like to say. So, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Awesome. Um, and then one last final thing is, I'm just going to say is, obviously someone told you about this. Um, and you're a physician and if there's, um, you know, you have a lot of credibility, you have a lot of knowledge and things like that. And so what would you say to other doctors out there or other people that are like kind of on the fence or if they hear about this, uh, what would you say to them? Give it a chance. Well, like a, a real good, well, yeah. use it yourself, but yeah. don't, don't make the mistake of having a double blind study of one. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody does that. Right. Drug companies don't do it. They don't say, yeah. hey, if it works on this one person, then they'll, yeah. they'll work. Yeah. The studies have been done. 
Yeah. Um, if I would have waited until, you know, I had these shifts that two and a half months down the road, four and a half months down the road, they work. You just, if you wear them, yeah. the stem cells get produced. Your body makes more stem cells. The GHK copper peptide gets elevated and a lot of really great things start to happen. Some of them are not measurable. You know, if you have pain that goes away, it's measurable. Right. But if your, your hair's growing back, Mm -hmm. or your liver's being regenerated mm -hmm. you're probably not going to feel that yeah so right. i tell docs any doctor who has any um not not just credibility but ethics mm -hmm. is not just going to blanket recommend something for someone sure. unless that something could benefit every single person so if you look at increase in our stem cells, every single person will benefit from that. So I've taught doctors to, you know, don't, don't try to introduce it to them during their visit. After their visit and you're finished, just say, oh, by the way, what do you know about stem cells? Okay. And they'll say, well, I know this or that, they're expensive or whatever they are. Yeah. And say, go see Susan out front. She has an envelope with some stem cell activation patches. Mm -hmm. and she'll show you how to put them on the doctor spent 10 seconds 15 at most yeah and then the staff shows them how to use them yeah that doctor who starts using those in his practice will have such not not everybody but such miraculous things happen to the patients that the patients start telling people about them more patients come if the doctor already does stem cell injections this is a, a benefit to add on to your stem cell package, people like packages. They don't want to pay. Yeah. They want to pay one time, and they yeah. want to just get it, get mm -hmm. it done. Add add a, a sleeve to your package. Add the the cost of the sleeve, and let them start using them. They'll get the stem cell injection. They will also get your, their own stem cells being produced. Mm -hmm. If you add the Aeon patch before your stem cell injection more of those stem cells that you're injecting into that patient are going to stay viable and alive because you decrease the inflammation. And as you know, you cannot give corticosteroids before a stem cell injection because that will oh, kill no. them as well. Oh no, yeah, right. So there's okay. a lot of benefits to even doctors who use stem cell Yeah, and I know now. a couple. I know mm -hmm. a few too. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pass this message along. <laughs> yeah. have, have them take a listen to you. Sure. Awesome, good. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you again. We are going to um, conclude this amazing podcast today. Again, thank you so much for being thank on. Thank you for having guest. me. It was a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. And we'll be talking soon. Well, I'm sure I'll probably have you on again and we'll talk something else uh, then educate um, and let share the good is what I always say. And like to share, share the good. The good. I like that. Yeah. Let's share the good. So, all right. Well, have Thanks an amazing, so you're so welcome. Thank you. And everybody, thank you for being on today and listening. Check out Dr. Harmon. I'll put the links below. He will also be on my website and he will also be on YouTube. So again, everybody have a great day. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right.